Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. Rats in the grain store, and Alfred has set the trap. Selwyn punishes criminals, as it should be. He's the worst criminal of them all. Your tongue. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our laws, our king's edicts. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse, if not the goodly people of Winchester? I am but your humble servant. Leona, you have been found guilty of... Those who do wrong must be punished. Jesus would preach forgiveness! Jesus did not need to assess all that is Winchester. I will kill you for this. Protect your... Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> Do something! So 
whirlwind's full of doom and doom is all. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. Care to test your skill at all, of? Do you believe in... I know this game well. Aye, what say you? Let's go a few rounds. Let's do this then. You just made my day, stranger. Let's have at it. This will be over soon.
Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. This is my game, stranger. Just give up. This will do. We got me. Another time, perhaps. Is that a bottom? You win. Let's see this sh Bet in the hole? We tr- We're fly, you fair.
Need to get on the other side. I need your eyes, my friend. Spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avon? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. 
then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? and give back that apple. Apple? You guys are scrubbing nothing. Oh, get your oh, hands off me, cowbreath. Cowbreath? You... No! Get off! Someone help me! Stop it, you cowbreath! If you fall, I can't help you! It's each wind. Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I don't, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. But it's so it's it's just for the taking. It's He's going to fall! What is that boy doing all the way up there? God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. My eyes soon. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. Over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right. No harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, this little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quill's meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us.
Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Cast about this land, my friend. I should watch out for a mousetrap. wrong. I'm going to marry King Alfred, and he's going to whisk me away from all this toil. Everyone died and left me alone on the streets. <sighs> There's never enough food. I'm always starving. Now, Elwyn, few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Time to die! Need help! May your roof heal. Ale first roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house? Murderer! 
Watch my lead. <laughs> children to spy and steal for your order to educate them give me a child until he is seven and I will give you the man or woman what use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart <laughs> taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Said to meet him at an alehouse nearby.
Thirsty as a flaming fish. Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Come, raise a cup and lose some silver. Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does a reeve do exactly? Besides, sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise. I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if it keeps you busy. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Where is your king now? Alfred is busy with the Elderman of Wessex. A Witten was lately called to discuss the little matter of a bishop's timely death. Are you sure the Sikh is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikh, the Sikh is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Lord grant my brother Aelfer eternal bliss, where joy endures for all those beloved of God.
Only his face was burned. That seems like a strange accident. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. Did you know Bishop Aelfirth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here. Helping the sleeping. Singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Well, dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff. What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Not just stolen, but burnt. Fredbear clothes. Did they belong to Wimber's friend? This funeral is a shadow play. The Order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eelfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. Leave me to my grief! A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aelfirth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than... My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend, burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... I... Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. Guards, protect me! Are you doing this? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool.
my wares. This could help you in your travels. Glad to replenish your stock. Happy to take this off your hands. Nothing else? I have to go. Team.